friends, I am Jason Zanguinas and welcome to our channel. Okay, these are the things that we are going to need. Trusted toolkit, our parts. This is a Kingston DDR4, a 8 gig, 8 GB PC4, 266 CL19260, 260 pin. This is a cheap and good uh, memory. And then our battery replacement. So we are good to go. And screw the laptop. Okay, now we have this one. Don't be scared of the cracks. So, yep. Here, gently uh, pull this out. Okay, because there's ribbons here. One, two, and three over there. So, just carefully lift fingerprint this one may be for the mouse and this one for the keyboard so we just pull it backwards don't be scared but be careful there you go after pulling out the ribbons this one just pull it out There you go. Bam. Easy. Easy peasy. Whoa. That is 130 CPU. Oh no. Now we have to remove uh, several screws. So here. One. One, two, three. Four, five, HDD, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here, the battery, eleven. Okay, so push out the HDD here. This is very easy. Push it out. Uh -huh. So here's the HDD. I'm gonna clean this later. It's dirty. And then let's screw the fan. We're gonna clean out the fan later. Here. Okay, just pull out the clips here, the power of the fan, just WLAN, this is the speaker, so just pull it out. There we go, pull that clip out. Carefully. We should return it later. Alright. Then this one. There we go. So this 
just for the fan so let's remove the battery forget to remove the battery because we won't need this anymore there it go making something don't just pull right up make sure you see the how the motherboard looks like oh we have an extra slot over there this is the blower so that we will clean this right up with our brush so yeah here it is so dusty okay so we'll be back okay so we cleaned up the fan so much difference but yeah we're gonna just clean this up a little bit with the dust with the brush and some alcohol here and then uh, here mm, take this out and replace it with the 8 gig and I believe we have you just have to click it like here yeah there it goes <laughs> so here's the DDR4 place it with our Kingston HGB so to put this okay just fill in the slot just push it push it right back bam and secured here is the slot for the SD the SSD all right we are good and just a little brushing and we're done so this is the battery brand new motherboard okay let's clean this up slide this back HDD okay and then push it in going this way the screws Put back the W line. There we go. Put this back. A uh, speaker and our fan. Okay, so first this one, this end here will be right there, and click it. to uh, push this ribbon in this one and this one all right so there you go so this ribbon right here slides to this one all right let's do that so just fill it in and then slide forward mm -hmm. there easy put this up and slide this ribbon over there slide it in and fold so slide this in we're done fully so two clicks okay so click here, here here and here finally there we go hopefully we're doing good 
close it up, close it down, and put back the screw. Moment of truth. Yeah, it boot. Good job. So this computer boot takes a lot of a lot of time to boot, and to make it uh, faster. Maybe in the future we can upgrade into SSD card because it has a SSD card slot. So let us see. Okay, here it is. So Tracing Card and Kinesis i3 2.0 for uh, gigahertz install RAM 8. Alright. So this is a success. Okay, so that was a success and a few things uh, I have noted and the first try wasn't able to boot the computer uh, the reason being I think the 8GB RAM is supposed to be on a different slot which is compatible to the laptop when I changed the slot put the 8GB to the other slot it worked and it boot so in the future if your laptop did not boot because of memory upgrade just try the other slot and it will work fine so that's for today thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed our upgrade laptop and don't forget to share subscribe and like the video so until next diy tech bye